Gigi. Uh, thank you. So I can start to say that I have the same report. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's finish today. <laughs> We go to the beach. <laughs> <laughs> and that is very comfortable to be nobody. <laughs> and also, I would like to share some experience. Like two days ago, we were speaking about how the universe is taking care of us and I want to say thank you because he was always taking care of me. Yes. And you know that I have a handicapped child. She is very sick. The doctor said she will die. <sighs> but it's okay. Yes. It's okay. Yes. And I feel, I, when I remember these last years, I came in India four years traveling with her, and suddenly I was thinking, like, but oh, I did. And I realized, but I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. God was carrying me. And she's really my guru because she was this presence always with me. She can't talk, she can't do anything, but she was always here. And it seems like she, she was here for teach me like, if you take care of me, I will always take care of you. So, I'm so grateful to have this child. Yes. <clears throat> and when the people ask me, oh, probably you miss her a lot because it's two years now, I, I'm not with her because she's in a special institution. Mm. But, okay, I used to say, yes, I miss you, her. But it's not true. Mm. Because there is no her and me anymore. You know? There is no her and me anymore. And when I call her, I speak to her, she cannot answer. There is only silence. But we are one in this silence. So whatever can happen in the future, it doesn't matter. Yes. Because this presence <coughs> It's me, and she's inside this presence, so there is no separation. So everything is perfect. Yes. <clears throat> Who comes to see this? This beautiful, rare opportunity. And life gave you this opportunity. Yes. That you could see like this. That's why I'm so grateful. Yes. And I hope it will give some courage or some strength to some people <coughs> that everything can hap anything can happen to you. Anyone who is really open inside the heart, anyone who really has come to the river's edge and steps in will understand and will always learn something will always see the gift that life brings in every moment. You see it, because you have undressed your eyes of your own projections. You have to come to this river naked. Sometimes life is doing this, it's stripping you, stripping you down to emptiness, so that you can be available to your own self. Then you can see. Then you can see in the way that is really possible for human being to see. Hmm? You don't see just by always running towards comfort, always running towards security, always running towards running away from what is challenging, 
always pulling back from the opportunities that life give you to face yourself, then you will not see. A rare one sees. Who doesn't bend your knees merely to comfort? Hmm? And to those who tell you only the things your ego wishes to hear. Sometimes life brings you, sometimes it pulls you by the ears to sink your head into this water so that you might live. Yeah. Uh, sometimes also I am saying, hmm, <coughs> I have to hold your head under the water. <laughs> what kind of compassion is this? Yes. So that you can see. Yes, somebody told me uh, one time, if I have to cut one of your arms for save your life, I will do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's okay. It is okay. Because <coughs> finally it's perfect. <laughs> and nobody says thank you for that. We only have thank yous for our chocolate flavored moments. You never say thank you for the things that really sometimes have to <coughs> rub you and push you and slap you back into alertness, into your own presence. We are slow to say thank you for such things. You have found it different. <coughs> so now I don't have so much question, or if some question arise, they are like bubble. You know, I look this bubble coming, like mm. doesn't make sense. Very it's like good. Pook. But the only one maybe I can ask you it is like if there is anything that it should be burned, so please burn it. Mm. With this attitude, it will burn by itself. You don't have to go looking to find what, what is burnable. <coughs> you just come and says, "Okay, burn everything." Yes. As I said before, this fire of satsang, it will not burn you. It will only burn what you're not. Thank you. <laughs> Very great.